Yo, what's up guys? Kobe Cheese here with another League of Legends video. This time I'm going to be talking about some Dominion. Haven't done a video on this yet, so what I wanted to do is actually get a lot of games in on Dominion first before I made a video on it because I wanted to give you guys a few tips on having more success when you play the game in addition to going over just a review of it and my thoughts. So let's just do it. Dominion is a great game mode to play when you just want to play a quick match that you know won't go over around 25 minutes at most. So let's say I have to go do something in 40 minutes, then I usually can't play a game of Summoner's Rift because I know that could potentially last 45 minutes or 50 minutes. You never know. But with Dominion, it could last between, you know, 10 to 25 minutes, and that's great. It's also really cool because you can try out new champions and it, it's just a lot more forgiving in that sense. You get to not worry about farming. You can always have your gold and you can build up those items and see how the champions work out. So I think it's a great game mode for that. It's also great for people who play a lot of League of Legends and are pretty good at the game, but they have a lot of terrible noob friends that are not that fun to play with in Summoner's Rift because they always feed. It's actually more viable to play with them. So for example, I have a friend that uh, he's really, he just barely hit level 30 and he's not very good at the game, but he's actually really good on Vayne in the Dominion mode because Vayne does really well and he was actually getting top score in a lot of the games. So again, I think this is great to play with your friends. I feel like it's going to bring a lot of new people to the game as it is a lot easier to get in. I'm more inclined to have a friend that has never played the game come in and just play Dominion right off the bat and be like, hey man, you can learn your champion here in Dominion and we can have a lot of fun and then they can move over to Summoner's Rift and start learning the more uh, complicated stuff there. So right away Dominion already has a lot to offer uh, for the game and I think it's gonna uh, be a great addition to League of Legends as it goes on. It's also just a fun way to blow off steam between your ranked matches. I mean it's fast paced, there's always action going on somewhere and you don't have to worry about last hitting that sort of thing. Just run around, take points and kill people all day. Really good stuff. Alright I'm just gonna give you a quick overview for those that are barely getting into it and want to know how everything works. Essentially you have a nexus on both sides of course, just like Summoner's Rift, but the health is going to tick down if you own more points than your opponent. That's the only way to remove the HP off of the nexus. So if you have two points and your enemy has three, you're not going to be taking points off slowly from them. You're just not going to be removing points at all. They'll be removing points on you. So technically you can have a game where the enemy gets you down to like two points and you capture one more point and you can hold that for the rest of the time and win, come back and win. So it, it makes for some really interesting gameplay overall. And then, all right, there's five different points on the map that you can capture. There's gonna be two that are closest to your base. You'll pick those up right away. The windmill is the one that's farther away from both bases and that's gonna be the main point of contention for each person. In order to help you get around the map much quicker, there are three speed buffs around the middle of the map. And once you just run past those, you automatically get the buff. They don't go away, the buff doesn't go away, but you'll it'll last just long enough for you to get up to the top or down to the bottom, depending on where you wanna go. There are 10 health buffs spread out throughout the map, one at each tower location, as well as five on more of the center of the map. And finally, there's a storm shield buff, which you can pick up by channeling. And if you get that storm shield buff, then you will have this really awesome buff that gives a little zap to close enemies every once in a while. And it gives you a really nice shield, which will protect you from incoming damage. And that recharges after it leaves you for a little while. So really good stuff to have that. You can take towers a lot easier having that storm shield. And plus, since it zaps people from a pretty good distance, it'll help you defend as well. Also in Dominion mode, they've added several different items that you can only get in Dominion and you cannot pick up in Summoner's Rift. Uh, there's, depending on which champion you play, there are some different strategies involved with getting these new items, but I'll cover those in just a little bit. So let's move on to some strategy for winning more games in Dominion. I'm sure that everyone here wants to just win every game, right? I mean, winning's fun. So anyways, the champions that are good at 1v1 and are really hard to kill are going to work really well in Dominion. Also champions that can burst down very quickly are super strong. Some of the top bands, if you're going to be playing the, the band mode in Dominion, are Jax, Singed, Lee Sin, and Talon. I think those are probably some of the top champions in this mode right now. Also, Heimerdinger and Maokai, those are two really, really strong champions for defending bottom lane. Also, most ranged carries are good for that role on top of that. 
And when you pick up your summoners, uh, Flash is not necessarily as useful in this one. I think that the most critical ones to have are Ghost and Exhaust. Those are probably the two summoner spells you definitely want to pick up if you want to do really well in Dominion. And that's pretty much on every champion on as well. Um, starting items are kind of dependent on your champion, but usually finishing boots too as quick as possible is never a bad idea. As far as your strategy is concerned, what you always want to do is have four people dash towards the top, burst down your, or sorry, use your ghost right away, and then have your one defender go down bottom and take that one. The idea is to always have the windmill. The windmill is the main objective in Dominion. It's going to pretty much make or break if you guys can uh, win the game. All you need is three points to win the match. You don't have to over capture. So the main thing is to always run up there, grab that windmill and defend that as much as possible. Another thing to note is that I see a lot of people run away from their towers and try and fight people in the jungle or try and push towers without minions. You don't need to do that, especially if you have three points already. Always use your tower advantage. So if you see a people coming at you, see a few people coming at you, just fall back to your tower and force them to fight you there where they cannot get any extra damage off on you. The reason for this is if you actually do end up losing a fight, then they're easily going to run up and capture your windmill or potentially the bottom if you're fighting down on bottom and over pushing. So that's what you want to pretty much prevent doing. It's really hard to get a point back if the enemy team is defending it properly. My favorite setup for defending three towers very effectively is to, of course, have your one person down bottom who's really good at holding off people and kiting and poking, and then have two people up top defending that point at all times, and then have two more people that stands on your middle speed buff area, and those are going to be like your roamers slash your pokers. What that does by having those two people there is it stops people from getting ninja caps on your mid area, and then if they make a mad dash to take bottom, then you can send one or two people down there to help out. And if they try and go up top, then you can easily just dash up to the top and fight. That's why having those two roamers is very successful. You can always have two people just hold out for long enough for you to dash up there, and you pretty much have vision of where most people are coming from and enough time to get there and, and stop them. After battles, if you're really low on HP, you definitely want to have your lowest HP person Teleport back. The cool thing about Dominion is that your teleport time is much lower. So have someone teleport out and go back to the base and get that health. There's no reason to stay at a tower at low HP because you're just going to die next time someone decides to push and you're going to end up losing it anyways. So get back out of there and get back. Use that speed buff to quickly get back to your tower and get to your defending positions. If you have trouble with them running and pushing an area quickly, let's say they send like four people down bottom and you end up losing that and you don't have the windmill at this point, then that should be an easy cap for the windmill. That's, you're gonna, that's gonna be like a three or four V one at most on the windmill. So take that windmill and then it should be pretty easy for you to get back your bottom tower. And for the most part, if you are winning and you have those three towers and there's no reason for you to, there's not really a good reason for you to ninja cap the right side unless you have your minions there. So if you're on bottom and you're able to cap the, the bottom right area, usually you only want to do that by pushing minions. Same thing for the top right. You usually want to, usually only want to cap that if you push your minions there. The minions make it so that the tower won't be shooting you if you go there and it's just much, much safer to do so. Any other way and you're risking getting killed, you know, like 1v3 and they'll end up taking more of your points back and it's going to be much more difficult to finally cap a point from there. So let's talk about some useful uses of the new items. My two favorite are the items that will actually reveal enemy champions in stealth. So for your AP carries, ones that do magical damage, they have a Hextech Sweeper. And anytime you do magic damage, it will reveal the champion that it hits for an extra four seconds. So let's say you have an AoE that doesn't require you to actually click on them. So you can, like, let's say you have Gragas, you throw a barrel inside of a Kali Shroud and hit her with it, then it will start to reveal her and you can begin attacking her at that point. There's also one called the Lightbringer, and if you're an attack damage carry, you can shoot them with the Lightbringer and then they'll be revealed for several seconds until, you know, you stop shooting them again. 
They've also added a new game, or sorry, a new item called Entropy. And Entropy is great for your attack damage carries. It gives you a little bit of survivability. And it has an active where if you pop the active, it'll slow down anybody that you attack. On top of that, it will also do a lot of extra true damage over the next two and a half seconds for each attack that you do. So it's a, it's a little bit of a ticking dot type thing. It's like a mini ignite every time you attack somebody. And that's pretty strong. They do have an item called Priscilla's Blessing, which allows you to, um, it has an active that will make you run 30% faster for a short amount of time, and it'll help you cap towers by uh, capping towers 15% faster. So while I've never actually built this myself, I don't know too many situations where it would be great, but if you are having lots of back and forth, I can see it being quite useful to help you very quickly get those towers. So anyways guys, Hopefully you got some nice tips out of this video today. Just remember those main points. Windmill is king in Dominion mode. Never fight in the jungle or I will come hunt you down and punch you in the neck. And just don't overextend. Hold those three points and you'll end up winning the game. Alright guys, it's Kobe Cheese. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And subscribe because i got a lot more videos coming out, of course, every single week. My Champion Guide, Summoner Academy, and my podcast. I'll see you around for the next one. Peace out.